So when we've heard testimony before that to evaluate necessarily includes evidence that's supportive and non-supportive, and then Dr. Linder's uh, statement was that science routinely discusses what's unknown or, or lack to be not understood. If that's our goal and we want to make sure that happens, what uh, definitive language could you use for evaluate to make sure that that critical process does take place? Well, I'd use terminology like analyze and evaluate using well-accepted scientific principles. Analyze and evaluate does not mean take a one-sided, biased view toward a theory. It means, from a scientific standpoint, look at the data and follow the information and where it leads you in terms of consistency or inconsistency with the data. So analyze and evaluate uh, with widely accepted scientific uh, methods would be uh, the sort of uh, language uh, uh, I would like to see. But again, analyze and evaluate within the scientific community, I think, is sufficient. But for better or for worse, the term strengths and weaknesses has a connotation. Uh, you know, when I talk to my uh, wife and my family, sometimes they'll tell me the words I use are not the words I meant. And although strengths and weaknesses sounds innocent enough and, and is in its own right, sort of the code word that this is sending around the country is mixing science with beliefs. And that, I think, is where our group TAMIST has, has an issue. We firmly believe in investigatory science. We probably analyze and evaluate more rigorously than any other group of people. So we greatly respect, analyze, evaluate, test, and always question theories. But we don't want unintended consequences. We don't want the unintended consequence to be a national sense of a step backwards in Texas when, in fact, so much positive uh, action is taking place here. And I think for us that may be why this is uh, a very passionately held issue and why we believe strongly in sound science. We believe uh, in our own uh, valued beliefs and religious beliefs. We just don't uh, think that those should be mixed. And we think, again, intended or unintended, that when you put these uh, words out, uh, 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 strengths and weaknesses, we feel that that is sending the wrong message across uh, the nation, even if unintended.